Hi, Islamic Dad here. I'm going to do a video on narcissists and their acquaintances um, as opposed to friends. Um, I was thinking about the two narcissists that um, I've experienced in my life. My malignant narcissist ex-wife and my um, covert narcissist ex-girlfriend. And, um, you know, as you'd expect, there's a, a lot of differences between the two, but there were um, some traits and behaviors that they both shared, which I thought were extra um, interesting because they're not traits and behaviors that normal people, um, you know, non-narcissists exhibit. And one of them was um, how they approach um, friends. So, um, I think that many people, um, you know, non-narcissists, um, especially those that lean towards um, introversion, that they form deep bonds with people. Um, not a whole lot, but the friends that they do have, um, you know, they're kind of, you know, close to. And... I haven't seen that in either of the narcissists that I had um, in my life. Both of them had, on the surface, hundreds of friends. I mean, you know, e you know, easily dozens and dozens. And that's what it looks like from the outside. But once you, you know, knew them better and kind of saw how they interacted with these people, you realize that it was very surface level and that these weren't in fact friends. They were what other people would just simply call as acquaintances. You know their name. You know um, them enough to say hello, how you been? And that's about it. Um, there's really nothing deeper than that. And it was, um, you know, funny to me because I, I know that with, especially like my, you know, the, um, ex-girlfriend that she would approach people, you know, because she knew so many and say, you know, hi, hello and stuff like that. And they would act, um, kind of strange and off like they didn't exactly know who she was or if they did they didn't understand why she was approaching them to say hello because they weren't that close and um, I mean it was very obvious that she um, in, in some ways was um, also using her you know many many acquaintances um, almost as a status symbol. And so, you know, very often when we would go out, she would say, oh, I know that person. I know that person. I know that person. And, um, but she didn't. I mean, she knew their name and recognized them and maybe saw them at a party two years ago, but that was it. And... You know, my ex-wife um, was um, a notch above that where she would actually, say, have lunch with um, one of her acquaintances. But just the sheer number of acquaintances and the way she spread her time, um, there was never any... Um, you know, deep friendship or any connection to that level with them. It was, you know, it was mostly just, you know, hey, let's go get lunch and, you know, how's work been? You know, um, have you gone on vacation lately? You know, just, you know, almost like the same type of conversations you would have with a coworker in the break room. And, you know, that, you know, that level of, um, you know, just kind of almost polite, formal um, talk. And 
so I was just thinking, like, um, you know, with respect to narcissism, um, I think that, you know, there's a couple of things that, you know, we can infer from that. Um, one, like I said, is that, you know, I think on some level, the narcissist definitely views um, people as, you know, not, not simply supply or possible supply, but also like kind of like um, status. So they can say, oh, I, I know these many people. And they will say, I have this many friends. Um, and especially they'll say, oh, I know so-and-so, you know, he's a, you know, he's a lawyer. I know so-and-so they're, you know, the, the Dean at a university and stuff like that. Um, but the other thing is just that, um, these, you know, a acquaintances are very surface level. So there's no emotional connection there. And again, um, I think that, there, I mean, there's, I mean, I don't know how else to describe it that, I, I, you know, a lot of people when they would interact with like, say my ex-girlfriend were kind of creeped out. They just intuited that right from the start that there was just something off about her. And that was one of the reasons that they were very standoffish. And it was funny because my ex-girlfriend was completely oblivious, you know, to, to her, the very, the very fact that they spoke to her meant that they liked her and that they considered her one of their friends. So, you know, I think it's, it's telling that, you know, both of the narcissist, um, aren't able to form these emotional connections with people um, to the level that, you know, we would call them friendships. And, you know, it's, it's doubly interesting to me because I know that, um, you know, I mean, I was married to, you know, the first one and I was in a relationship for four years with the second one. And whether it was, quote, real or not, um, you know, I experienced um, an emotional connection there. Um, again, sometimes tenuous in retrospect i'm sure that people can say oh well that was just um an act um I, I disagree but at the same time it was different than the type of um, connection you would get with a non-narcissist but i mean that's not my point right here my point is uh, it's interesting that the narcissist was able to at least make that amount of a connection with a partner but couldn't go as far as having like a friendship with you know someone the way normal people do um and i <laughs> i'm not sure what that means or why it's just kind of um interesting but anyways i just thought i'd throw that out that i found it interesting that you know i realized that both of the narcissists in my life really did not have friends. They just had acquaintances and not just that, but lots and lots of acquaintances. Like they were collecting Pokemon cards or something. I mean, it was crazy. So um, hopefully this um, video has been helpful or at least um, interesting.